this morning about exactly how thieves are using all that credit card information stolen from Target. Turns out a large number of the 40 million cards are now being sold on the black market. This, as investigators step up their efforts and Target launches a big PR blitz aimed at understandably angry customers. ABC's Rena Ninen is all over the story this morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. I haven't even started my Christmas shopping yet. Really? No. So this wow. is like one of the worst weekends to kind of hear about this. But if you think there aren't any fraud charges on my card, I must be in the clear. Well, authorities say the stolen Target cards may be among the millions of credit cards now being swiped in the final Christmas shopping crush. Four days before Christmas, credit card theft alert. ABC News has learned fake cards with credit card numbers stolen from Target's recent data breach are now flooding the black market. The credit cards, once they're harvested, they're dispersed all over the world and usually distributed through online organized crime. New York police sources telling ABC News the stolen card information is selling in batches of one million cards at a time. Once that information is stolen, they work globally with other cyber thieves who distribute those cards to turn that uh, data into money. Missy Thompson from Tennessee says a charge at Walgreens tipped her off to fraud on her card. I was thinking I didn't go to Walgreens. I would never spend $250 on Walgreens, so that got my attention. And how does the stolen data get into the black market? It's surprisingly similar to Melissa McCarthy's card duplicating setup in Identity Thief. Got it. The thieves input your stolen information, then, like getting a new room key at a hotel front desk, they just swipe it onto a blank card, like a used up gift card. Your credit card now can be used anywhere. It's devastating, it's kind of scary knowing, well, if they have my information, who else got it? The New York Police Department retrieved 39 gift cards, bogus card numbers in an arrest on Thursday. Those account numbers right now being run through the Secret Service database to see if they match the stolen target cards. The New York Attorney General is offering free credit checks for New York residents, and Target knows this is a PR disaster. They're giving 10% to everyone this Saturday and Sunday, but Diana Bona, someone's going to have to eat this, you know, the, the fraud charges. And one thing that credit card companies do is to jack up the interest rates, so ultimately it comes back to the consumers. But mm. either way, I'm sorry, your Christmas gifts will be late this year for me. Well, you better get shopping right now. I'm yeah, going exactly. after the show. Yeah, this couldn't, this couldn't <laughs> happen at a worse time of the year, though, for Target. Yeah, really, it's true. Right. Rena, great. Yeah.